What up, YouTube? Um, it's Eternity with God again. This video right here is going to be very, very, very powerful. It's going to make you guys um, grow in your faith even more. Um, let's see here. We're going to be talking about um, Jesus and his thoughts towards us. All right. We're going to be talking about every single grain of sand in the entire world on every beach. Grain, you know, is just one piece of sand. Out of each and every single trillions and quadrillions of pieces of sand within the entire earth. We're going to be talking about that. So, as we know, Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is the Son of God as well, and the Holy Spirit. He's a trinity. God the Father is a trinity with Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, Jesus is all-loving. He is sinless. He is perfect because he's God. Um, he's the only one in the entire world who's ever lived <coughs> a sinless life. I'm talking very, very low because I rewatch, I watch my videos and I seem that I talk too loud in my videos. So, and I stutter a lot because I can't think of, I, I think of one thing to say and then I think of something completely different at the same time. So I mix up my words and I don't pronounce the words correctly. So, and the hand movements I do like this and stuff. It's all be, it's just a habit, you know, um, when I'm talking, when you're talking, you just, you can't sit still, so I don't know why, and when I fidget with my mask a lot in a lot of my videos, it's actually because the mask is tickling my face, because I've, it, cause it's tight, because I don't want it to slip down in the videos and reveal my face. You guys can see my face in pictures from my iPhone on, in my heaven and hell video, heaven and hell dreams. I actually show myself. I just don't like showing myself on video because I don't think I look right. Because seeing myself on video right here, it's one way. But when I re when I watch it after it's done recording, it's flipped the other way. So my hair is swooping to the right side, right here. First person, first person, person mode. My hair is flipped to the right side, um, but on um, to how other people see me on the camera when I rewatch when I watch my videos, my hair is to the right. First person, it's to the uh, right, and um, I don't know what you call. I guess you could call outer person. So how people on the outside see me um so second person mode i guess <laughs> um so we're going to be talking about jesus and how many thoughts t uh towards us he has for us so we all know that jesus is completely loving thank jesus christ in heaven He's God, the Son of God. He's sinless. He's perfect. He's extremely holy. Um, there's nothing he can't do. He's very powerful. He's very loving. He dwells within me. He dwells within all believers. All true believers who accept him as Lord and Savior and receive the blood of his sacrifice. So, um... So, his thoughts towards us are all good thoughts, all loving thoughts, all great. He has trillions of trillions of thoughts. So his mind is eternity in the past, and his mind is eternity in the future, and the present. Past eternity, uh, present, and future eternity. I can't, we can't comprehend that. Same with God the Father. He has past eternity, and present, and future eternity, he knows the past eternity. He can see eternity in the past. He knows the pre he can see the present, and he can also see eternity in the future, all at the same time. 
How exactly can you comprehend that? If your answer is you can't, you're correct. <laughs> um, because his mind is unlimited and our minds are limited. Even if we're able to access 100% of all of our brain, we still kind of equal up to God's brain. We could not equal up to that. We would still be limited because 100% is limited. Infinite is not limited. So only a God himself has an unlimited brain. I don't understand how that is. He knew about us eternity before he even created us. So he knew everything eternity before he even created. He already knows us. That's why he says in the Bible, he, uh, he says he knew about us before we were in our mother's womb. I, there's rumors I've come to conclusions and theories myself as well that the reason why he says he knew about us before we were in our mother's womb is because maybe we were under his care in heaven, all humans. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's biblical. I don't think it is. But he definitely knew about us eternity before he created us. He didn't He didn't just, hmm, I'm just going to think, I'm, I'm just going to create I'm just going to create this guy right here. Um, no, he already knew how many people he was going to create. He already knows everything and has known everything for all eternity in the past, the present, and the future. All at the same time. I can't comprehend that. If you think about it too much, your brain will start hurting and then it will instantly go to some other topic. Anyways, um, so let's cut to the chase. You know, if you go to the beach, if you grab a handful of sand, right? Next time you go to the beach or a little lake or somewhere that has sand on it, or maybe you guys play with a sandbox, I don't know. Take your hand, put it in there, grab an, uh, a whole handful like that. Open your hand and count each piece. Grain by grain by grain. You know, a grain of sand is like microscopic. So just one grain of sand is a precious, holy, eternal thought for um, to us from Jesus Christ himself. It's one thought per grain. And that equals to every grain in the entire world world how awesome is that that we are cared for by somebody who has a single thought towards us um from each and every single piece of grain of sand in the entire world how awesome and amazing is that that we're cared for and loved um so much by somebody who loves us so, so much that each and one and like two and three and four and five and six and trillions and zillions of pieces of sand in your hand. There's like, if you open your hand and, um, after having a handful of sand, right? You'd be like, how many is there? Millions, trillions, billions? Each grain of sand is a thought towards us by Jesus Christ himself. A holy, perfect, and a um, loving thought towards us. How awesome is that, that somebody cares for every single person so much? I mean, how, that's just, I can't comprehend that. It's just so amazing. Like, Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit are just, I can't wait to meet them when I get to heaven. I just, I can't wait to give all three of them a big hug. I mean, like, seriously? Care for that much? Loved by that much? Are you serious? That is just... That is awesome. But anyways, that's our video for right now. So I'll see you guys later.